Hello and welcome back. In the last video, you looked at graphics and downloading pictures from the internet. In this video, we're going to look at shapes, inserting shapes into a document. Why would we insert a shape in a document? Well, sometimes we may need to create a placeholder or even create a flowchart in a document. So I already have a document open. To insert shape, we need to go to the insert ribbon and there are different types of shapes that we can insert. We have recently used shapes, lines, rectangles, basic shapes, arrows, equation shapes, flow chart shapes, stars and banners, and callouts. Let's use a basic shape. So let's take this sun. To insert the shape, I clicked on my page. I, I dragged across to insert the image. Let's do that again. So we go to insert, ribbon tab, illustrations group, shapes, select the shape, I'm going to change the shape now. Last time I downloaded the sun. Now I'm going to double click on the smiley face. And there we go. So there are two ways of inserting a shape. Either by clicking and dragging to draw the shape. Or by double clicking on the shape. Once a shape has been downloaded. You can change the shape fill either using a theme style or you can change the shape fill using theme colors, standard colors, no fill, more fill colors which takes you to a color palette so you can choose the color. Likewise you can choose the fill the shape with a picture. That would be a picture from file, picture on your machine. Shape fill with a gradient, one of the presets or more gradient. So you can choose gradient fill and you can choose gradients that have already been You can use these handles to adjust the fill. You can change the colors, mix the colors. Adjust the brightness and transparency. And there we go. <clears throat> Once you start working with a shape, you are now going to be using the Drawing Tools Contextual Ribbon. This ribbon is only available when you are working with drawing objects. We can add shape effects. Let's put a glow. We can add a shape outline. We can make the shape outline thicker, heavier as the case may be, all right. and after all of that, if we decide that this wasn't the shape that we wanted, we can change the shape, keeping the same formatting that we had just applied. Again, we have the resize handles. Now, these resize handles on this version of Word is small circles. In other versions of Word, the resize handles can also be small squares. Right, so you have the resize handles. You can change the image. You can rotate the image just like you did with a picture. 
you can change the image rotation. And once you let, once you have stopped or you've clicked outside of the image, you can go ahead back to type. So if we type You will notice that this image, even though we can move it around freely, it's currently in front of text. The layout for this drawing image is set to in front of text. We can change that by changing the wrapping. We can send this behind your text. We could send it through the text. So the text is separated by the image. Or the text appears either on the top or the bottom of the image. The text appears at the bottom of the image in line with. So your text wrapping is very important. because it affects your placement and the way your image and interacts with the text on your screen, the flow of the text in relation to the image. Again, if you have questions, you can review your notes. This image, if you have multiple shapes drawn, again, going back to the insert shapes and I'm going to do the sun you can align you can select multiple images by clicking on the first image holding down the shift button and clicking on the second image you can align these images you can align them left I'm going to undo that you can align them align them to the top so that the top of both images line up. You can align them to the center and then you can simply use selecting one image you can now move that image down. This align feature is particularly important when you're dealing with flowcharts because in a flowchart you would like your images to be lined up properly. You can use one image on top of another. Now the reason the sun is above the heart is because the sun was placed second and the heart was placed first. So the second image will automatically position in front of the heart. We can change that. We can send it behind send it backwards. So we can take the sunshine and send it backwards. There we go. So the sun is now behind the heart. So in the arrange group, these functions and these commands all allow us to change the alignment and the placement of the image, the graphic, or the drawing tool, the drawing image, the drawing shape, in relation to the text. So to quickly review, we can set your text wrapping to be in front, top and bottom, tight, square. Right behind text simply means the heart will be behind the text. We can then layer multiple images by using the bring forward or send backward. Currently, on your screen, the heart is forward and the sun is backward. If we want to bring the sun in front of the heart, we can click on the sun and bring it forward. 
we can rotate the shape or we can use the rotation tool. We can change the size of the shape either by using the handles or by adjusting the height and width. These adjustments adjust one point at a time, which makes it a little bit easier or more precise if you have to make minute adjustments to the shape of an image. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact your instructor via private message or in the question and answer forum and read your notes in the, in the book so that you can master this topic. Have a good day. Enjoy yourself.